Hey, Salakia family, my phone got hot, but I'm still in Philippians chapter 3, verse 9. It says, and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Hamashiach, the righteousness which is of good God by faith. So it's not the righteousness of the law, it's the righteousness of Yahawashai. That's what we follow, how he was. And what did he say? He said, love your brother. He, the, the top two commandments, he said, love the most high God and love your brother. Your brother is your neighbor. You don't, you think it's a coincidence why this kingdom, they, they put millions and millions and millions of dollars a year, probably billions, to make sure that the leaders of the so-called black community are, are those of chaos. They push wickedness. They don't push unity. They don't push uh, higher learning. They want you lower. They want you in karmic cycles. That's why toxic, being toxic is so cool. Because they want you in that lower chaos. They want you in that karmic cycle. They don't want you above in your higher timeline. The, the heavenly timeline to where the Lord is giving you your, your blessings, what you what you do this time. They want you in the in the lower you. The hate, the envy, the jealousy, always having strife. The woe is me. Why, why me, God? Why did you do this, God? Why? That's what they want you in. So they promote that with your, your so-called leaders. Or they tell you to do what you want. It's okay, do what you want. They'll never tell you to love one another. They'll never tell you that we one nation, we gotta act like it. Because a celebrity is no more than just, it's a, just, it, it, it's a tool, they're tools. Those people are just, uh, those are brands. You, you may fall in love with the name Beyonce. Beyonce's a brand. When you see her, she's a brand. That woman doesn't have her own thoughts. She doesn't have her own, uh, you know what, I want to do this. It may look like it, but if she sit down with her uh, 20 plus uh, think tanks, if it's not going to make sense for the brand, they're not going to promote it. So Yahweh Shai, he's the brand that we should follow. He's the one that we should follow. It's his father. It's our father that gives us that knowledge that, that he had. That example that God gave was him for us to follow. We can't get caught, and that's another thing, we can't get caught up into the law. You do, you follow the law to the best of your abilities, but that's not what's gonna get us a good report. What's gonna get us, get us a good report is how you treated one another. That's what this is about. How did you treat your brothers? How did you view your brothers and your sisters? How did you view them? Did you cause more strife unto them in their, in their captivity? Did you cause more chaos unto them? This is how the Lord's gonna judge us. What were you doing in a fallen world? Was you adding unto the chaos? Was you using your wisdom, your knowledge? Or was you just saying, you know what? For past this, for, you know, I forego this, this wisdom, knowledge, and I'm going to do what I want. We're now in a time of judgment. Verse 10, it says, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. And the fellowship of his sufferings, being made comfortable unto his death. Salakia, being made conformable unto his death. Meaning, if you're a believer, that once again, that wisdom, that knowledge that you're taught through your journey, you have to use. Because Yahweh I had to do the same thing. There was a couple times where the Lord, he would get tested by, by men, uh, uh, you know, within our nation he had to use wisdom now he was around certain disciples they would they would hop right into their uh 
you know, that 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 ego side and be like, yo, Lord, we could we could take this guy out right now for you. Like he talking crazy on your name. Yeah, I was like, no, no, that's not the example. I, I can't do that. We can't do that. Yeah, yeah, he's he's being disrespectful. But you still you don't render evil for evil. You still show that that uh, uh, that mercy. Every day you wake up, the Lord shows mercy unto us. That mercy is to give to someone else. Every day the Lord gives us grace. That grace is to give to someone else. Because he gave it to you. Still in Philippians. Let's jump over to verse 4. Or chapter 4, Salakia. Verse 7, it says, And the peace of Yahweh, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. So it's the peace of the Lord. Once again, that wisdom. When the Lord gives you wisdom, He's going to put you in certain situations to apply that wisdom. When you apply that wisdom, you basically, it's like the Lord, he can trust you more, right? So now he's going to give you a life of peace. When you go through a season of trials, tribulations, the Lord is testing you so that you can understand his peace. That is a true gift. That's why the wisdom and the knowledge is the stability because it's a gift to understand wisdom and, and, and when I say understand it that means you apply it if I if, if you if you on your way home and I call you and I say hey don't take I don't want you to take 95 north man it's, 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 it's backed up I think it's like an hour 30 minute uh, uh, you know uh, wait time there's another route that you can take that cuts all that out if I give you that wisdom I'm trying to help you. I don't want you to, uh, I want you to negate what's ahead as far as uh, uh, that may be an issue. The Lord is the same way. So when you apply that, it's like, okay, cool. This is someone who can use wisdom. This is someone who applies wisdom. When you apply wisdom, the Lord gives you peace. Sometimes wisdom or the certain situation that we get in, at the time, it may look chaotic. It may look like, what is going on? I don't know what's ahead of me. But once again, you're part of that circumcision. So you're part of that that elect to, to lose control. Let the Lord take over. Let him be an example in your life. Then we're granted that stability. Then we're granted that peace. Not the stability of the, uh, of, of, of the 3D. The stability of the Lord, the peace, to have peace. You'll be surprised at how many people look from the outside like they got everything in order. Man, they got the house, they got the car, they got the family. You like everything. Their mind is constantly tormented. Their mind is constantly racing. Their mind is constantly uh, worried. So what does that mean? That means in the long haul, you're going to burn out. That means in the long haul, you're going to short circuit. Because you got wires crossed. The only person that can uncross wires is the Lord. Peace is from God. This is why they don't like the Israelite man. You provide peace. They don't like men in general now, but you guys... Uh, you're built off, Jacob is built off of peace, understanding, love, okay? They don't want that here. They like you to be in chaos. So it's our job to apply the wisdom and knowledge. That's what, that's what gets us stability. That's what gives us this peace. So Yasharala, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. 
Rocket the Yahawa, Rocket the Yahawa Shai. Rocket the Yahawa, Rocket the Yahawa Shai. Rocket the Yahawa, Rocket the Yahawa Shai. Wa Abad Baba. This is your brother Malachi signing off. Shalom Yasharallah.